Europeans have concerns regarding certain environmental issues in Europe, one being air, air pollution, two, acid rain, and three, nuclear disaster. The first of the environmental concerns we're going to discuss is air pollution. Air pollution is when human activities or human environmental interaction introduce chemicals or particulates into the atmosphere. The continent of Europe is full of developing countries and industrialized countries, and they have large cities such as London, Paris, and Rome. Um, the United Kingdom is known for the worst air pollution, and the capital of the United Kingdom is London. London is notorious for its factories, especially during the Industrial Revolution, where factor factorization was prevalent. The main causes of air pollution are factories, power plants, and car emissions. The United Kingdom actually has 30 million vehicles that are driving around today, which are giving off harmful emissions, which combined with the air form air pollution. The, in 1905, the term smog was coined. Smog is actually known as fog and smoke when it's mixed together, and London is notorious for its London fog. Also, there was the Great Smog of 1952. London, for four days, was so thick and with opaque, non-transparent fog that it became known as the Great Smog of 1952, and it's where Europeans became more self-conscious of the quality of their air. The second issue that we're going to discuss is acid rain. Germany is most known for its acid rain. They have the worst case of acid rain in Europe. And acid rain is when the factories produce those harmful chemicals and give off, basically when the coal burns and mixes the, the sulfur oxide and nitrate oxide, nitrate, the sulfur dioxide and nitrate oxide mixes with the air and when it rains, it comes down as acid rain. And acid rain affects buildings, sculptures, plants, humans, and animals. And the main causes of acid rain in Germany are the fact that they, have the, they lead Europe in manufacturing in cars, steel, and chemicals. And they also have 40 million vehicles that are driving around, um, giving off emissions. Now, one of the main issues that Germany has faced with acid rain is their black forest. Over half of the black forest has been destroyed, and timber is one of their major natural resources. The final issue in Europe that we're going to discuss is Chernobyl, the nuclear disaster that happened in 1986. Chernobyl it was the site for a nuclear power plant located in the Ukraine. And April 26, 1986, a reactor exploded. What happened was the reactor started working at a capacity of more energy that it could handle. It eventually exploded. The first explosion um, exploded the pressure tubes. The second explosion sent was a huge explosion and sent particles 90 times more particles than Hiroshima out into the atmosphere. And 36 hours later, it was kind of a silent explosion. No one really knew um, the, the effects that were going to take place. 36 hours later, 200,000 people were evacuated within an 18-mile radius. People were sent in to clean up. Um, they were only allowed in the building, in the plant, for a maximum of 90 seconds due to the amount of radiation that was inside. Over 60,000 buildings had to be hosed down with special chemicals and cleaned, which led to um, many replacements of many roof, of roofs in the area. Also, it ended up closing in 2000, but it's still one of the most radioactive places on Earth. There are YouTube videos out there that you can watch people walking around with transmitters trying to pick up radiation. The effects on the environment that the nuclear disaster in Chernobyl caused were poisoned farmland and livestock, 
all of the meat from the cows were infected and were ra they were basically radioactive and the milk was radioactive. So it became unable to be consumed, which led to a famish and food shortages. And also the radiation caused cancer. So this brings us to the question, what is Europe doing about it? The first thing they're doing is making environmental policies. Environmental policies that regulate industries, the emission standard for cars, and they're coming up with green ways to produce energy. There are a lot of biochemicals that are being created and alternative fuel sources that are being explored as well in terms of fuel for cars, such as using plant oil instead of gasoline. Also, the European Union has played a huge role. Most countries in Europe are a member of the European Union, and they have passed policies to protect or to fight acid rain, restrict waste, and reduce pollution.